to. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Maybe you need to uh, so to raise the volume of your of your, of your microphone, though. Okay, I will do this. Now? That's fine. It's far better now. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Anza. Hi, everybody. We are just okay. Hello, Anzar. Uh, Hello. <laughs> Teacher Jimmy, are you there? Yes, I am. <laughs> we are waiting for the. <laughs> I just uh, want to apologize. Uh, yeah. I. Okay. They are coming. Okay. I think yeah. um, I will. I will say it after the session. So Nyango, you are ready. <laughs> yeah. This is your I meeting. Am. <laughs> yes, it's my meeting, and uh, I think we will wait for the others, or will we start now, as you want. Oh wait, wait a wait, uh huh, wait a minute, and then you okay, can welcome the people, say, ask them, introduce themselves. Okay, okay. Uh, where are they? <laughs> Leo is there. <laughs> Hello, Leo. Long time, long time. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Great. Hi, buddy. Nice. I'm fine. Thank you. That's good. <laughs> okay. And Zara, can you see me? Can you can you transfer the, the link, this link of this the link of this meeting to the to the Malaga City Development Group so that okay. the member can see then they can join us. Okay, okay, I will do it now. Thank you. Okay, well, we are waiting for uh, the others. Uh, uh, the reason why I want to train Yangu or Anzara, I have seen how Lewo was was uh, doing great when he was uh, leading the meeting. And my purpose is there, there, there is a free scholarship in America and they were asking me who is the good in English. And I really want to see uh, who are they before I am going to give your name there, guys. So, I, you are going to host many meetings. I want the, the Malagasy also to join, but I have, I have invited them, but uh, they are still like, kind of like, um, uh, not interested, or the, the problem was the internet. So, yeah, we will see like how it, it goes. But keep up the good work, because that uh, three scholarship they have been asking me for a long time, but I haven't found the the student who are good at English, because everything is in English. 
So yeah, um, we will see, and we will take from there. It's a scholarship so, for which university in America? Um, uh, there is like there are like three um university. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask the responsible again. And then um, uh, it will be, we, we will know, like, uh, I think he was, he was telling me that um, the, the people who are from, uh, from other countries, they want to go to Oxford all the time. But there, it's not like a free scholarship, but the one that he found, uh, it is free. So he said that, uh, do you have someone from your country, Jenny, like the student uh, from poor, from, uh, okay, they really want to, to study, but the parents cannot afford. Okay. So he was telling me that if I find three or four or five uh, Malagasy students that really, really want to join that uh, apply, that uh, free scholarship, and I need to give them, uh, give him the 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 names. But until now, I haven't found. So uh, that's why I was telling um, Anzar about that. And now Leo, I have seen that he he, he might be interested. I don't know, like because he's not like studying at BYU University. And uh, yeah, um, Leo, you might be interested on in that. I don't know. <laughs> because the things I think uh, when everything goes well, you might go there if they are going to sponsor you where you will study online. I don't know, like I will, I will, I will ask more about it. I will ask more information and uh, we will take from there. So Leo, I think uh, you will continue your study at uh, BYU University, isn't it? Yeah, I, I'm still continuing. Yeah, I'm still continuing it, but online. But it's an online, it's an online course, and if we can profit this opportunity to to go to the campus, I will do it, <laughs> of course. Yeah, I think you have to go to the campus because as they get free scholarship, I think uh, they will they will choose the, the, the best and then you go there and study because it's an opportunity for those uh, students who are poor, they cannot afford the, sco the, the, the school fees. That's why they want to take three or five of them to go there and study there. If, uh, if you pass the exam. So that's the reason why like I trained you guys. I always, um, he, he's, he told me that uh, people from China and uh, Vietnam, they, uh, he has uh, got people from there, students from there, because they are really enthusiastic by attending the course. And then, you know, they really need to do it. And they, they have seen how, how they really want to study. But I have been inviting Malagasy people for a long time, inviting them to join my class, and they always have an excuse like, oh, we don't have an internet, you don't have this. And I told them, can you guys to go uh, to the like super cafe? And then you just attend two or three, twice or uh, three times a week for my class so that I can see how you are. Because I, I was I was like teaching them, I give a lesson, I give, you know, I teach them. But um, it was like, um, it's still like the internet is the issue. So yeah, we will we, 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 we'll see. But I exhort you to continue all the time, guys. And then um, uh, when the exam comes, I just uh, inform you and then you, do the exam the exam will be online of course and after that when you pass there is like a form or things that you have to um to fill up so yeah 
Okay, so let's start now. The, I think we have some uh, participants join us. Okay. okay, so hello everybody. I'm Niang and I'm from Madagascar and I'm very happy to lead this meeting and I'm very happy to see you and uh, as you see maybe you've already seen it but today we will talk about self-confidence so i will let you i will i will ask you the question how to be confident but before it i will try to define what is self-confidence so i hope you will talk today and uh, and uh, i hope we will have great ideas so let's start then. Um, what is self-confidence? Um, we always hear it and uh, sometimes we like, no, I can't be confident. No, it's not for me. But uh, I think self-confidence is understanding that you trust in your abilities and that you value yourself and you feel worthy regardless of any imperfections or of what others may think about you. So confidence is believing in yourself, feeling comfortable in your true self and knowing you have worth. Mm. I think we all have our own insecurities and uh, sometimes that's what makes us feel like we can't be confident, like we're so shy, but we need self-confidence because if we are confident people will believe in us and uh, i don't know if uh, you agree with me but i think confident people are more attractive and confidence brings success success and help us to connect well with others so today the question the main question is how to be confident uh, before I give my answer, I want to hear your ID, your opinion. So, who wants to start? Mm, maybe Thierry has his opinion about how to be self, how to be confident. <laughs> uh, so, how to be confident? Well, <laughs> there. I think there are many ways to be confident, but that depends on the situation. So I'm, I have an example that 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 uh, that underlines what you said before, and it happens it happens to me when I had to write uh, a remedy for for one of our for one of our for one of our clients who was mm -hmm. actually in jail, and okay. he he wanted to he wanted to. To, to discuss with with his mom at uh, with his with his mom uh, by phone, but he was not allowed to do it. And uh, it was actually the first time that uh, that I wrote a, uh, that I wrote a judicial document. And I was a bit afraid because I only I only sorted I only sorted out of, of 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 university. I don't have I don't had any experience yet, so I was very afraid to write something because I I knew that the word that I'm going to use before the authority will, well, either they'll accept it, either they will not accept, accept it. So it's like, I didn't have any choice. I, ha I didn't have any choice. I had to believe in what I learned at, at the university. I had to believe in my law books too. And I had to believe in my capacity that I might be able to, uh, to reach uh, to to reach a solution, but in the end, I lost. We lost. <laughs> we lost. We lost the cases because there were there were a lot of complication during the process. But either way, I was kind of I was kind of confident then because I was thinking to myself, okay, maybe what I've written is not incredible, but at least I was confident in my notes. I was confident in the cases that I used mm -hmm. to back up my arguments. So, I mean, it's like doing an exam. If you are well prepared, just believe in your answers. Maybe they're worth it, maybe they're not, but just believe in them. So that's, I think, a way okay. of being confident, yeah. I think. 
Thank you, Thiris. I do agree with you. And it was very impressive. Thank you. So maybe someone else has an opinion. Uh, let's hear Rashid Sarker. Rashid. Hello, Rashid. Yeah. And ma'am, how, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm also fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Okay. I'm not, I'm not prepared to talk about how to be confident. You know that there are different <laughs> ways. Don't stop and excuse. <laughs> okay. So, do you want to talk? Just I'm not, or? Yeah, yeah. Just I'm now uh, listening. What you were discussed. Okay. okay. Today I'll be listening. Okay. 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 That's great. So, <laughs> so maybe let's ask Leo. Leo, Boss? can you hear me? Boss, are you there? Leo. Leo, boss. Where is he? <laughs> Ask someone else and then you, you you go back to him again. <laughs> your, your mic is... Uh, we are not, not listening. Your mic, Yangu, your mic. Yeah, un unmute your mic first. Yeah. And... Uh, Sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, now I see. Uh, let's let's ask Nirajan. Nirajan? Yeah, I'm here. There? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm so here. For you, how to be confident? How to be? According to you. How to confident. be a confident? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so confidence is a key to success. And if you want to be a confident, then uh, you should stop comparing and stay focused on you and relax and just go with the flow and don't be stressed and love yourself and uh, be positive and look for the good in every situation and do what you love to do. So these are the key of confidence. Yes, exactly. It was very impressive. Thank you, Nirajan. Thank you for your, for your, for your impressive answer. So now yeah, you're I welcome. Ask, Leo is there now? Leo, what are you there? <laughs> Leo, can you hear me? <laughs> yes, I think he can. <laughs> So for you, yeah. how to yeah. be confident? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. How to be confident? Uh, <laughs> it's a tough question, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to to answer it. Um, I think the key is training. You just have to train and practice in all areas. For example. Uh, I'm going to persuade a dance. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, share my product to the customer. Then I'm afraid. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not uh, have confidence in myself because I'm afraid to speak on public. And the key how to become confident. It's like you have just to practice and train. Get prepared first. Prepare what you are going to speak, what you are going to share with the audience. Then, it's, if it's necessary, you have to talk alone with the mirror. Go to the, with the mirror and talk to yourself. Like da 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 da. da. Then uh, you become familiar with it. You become confident in yourself. Repeat it for a long for a long uh, for a long time. It's a question of repetition and practice and training and here you go you will you will not get anxiety you will not get afraid and you will be confident 
So that's that's the key. Talk to yourself. Uh, prepared preparation, repetition, and talk alone. And <laughs> that's that's my insight. Yes, you've got it right. I do agree with you. So thank you, Leo, for this. I remember, I remember when uh, I was telling Leo to lead the class and he was like, no, I cannot do that. He's like, do it, because if you do it and you practice, and then I know the first time you be like, me, maybe it will be hard for you. But now he is not like, he's not afraid. Even if, you yeah. know, many teachers are there, he's just like, oh, I'm going to nail it. And I'm proud Very of you, boss. Leo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Leo. So now let's hear. Maybe teacher Jenny wants to say something. Or oh yeah. Um okay, uh, I want to to share buzzed in my experiences. Um when I was, because in my, uh, when I was in Madagascar, I am one of the job specialists. And I was like, oh my goodness, I cannot make it. How can I do it? And I'm, I'm not even like have an experience about job and what, what like that. How can I train people about it? And I was like, oh, let me just give it a shot. And then I did. And you know what I did when uh, Vivian from South Africa trained us, we were five and uh, it was so hard for me. And they trained us and then they say, they told, uh, she told us to go out there and then go and visit companies and introduce ourselves and who we are and we have to, to, to do it by ourselves and we have to do report. And it was so hard for me. And you know what I did every morning I have to know and train myself, like me in 30 seconds. And then when I was teaching the student in this class, like uh, every time I teach them about getting to know you more and telling them that you can do and present yourself in 30 seconds. And I really want to hear from them about it, but I haven't to get it from them because I told them to stand in front of the mirror guys and then say it and tell who you are, what you stand for. And I was telling them to do the same because I was there in that time because I want to be like, be confident on what I'm saying to people and that I'm this and this and this in 30 seconds only, not more, because that was the training. So I have to, every morning, I have to do it. I have to do it before I go out and tell people and then visit those companies. And I did it. And people just like astonished see, see what the things that I explained to them because I trained myself. So as Leo said that you have to train yourself every time. And uh, there was a, it's, it, it, this is an experience also that I have. I was afraid to start a school in Madagascar by myself, but I did it because I'm gonna do it and I must do it and I will see how it is. And I did, and there is a time that when I start the school by myself the first time, I was scared and I was like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? But every day when I teach and when I invite the student and I explain to the student everything and I get more and more confident in myself. And uh, I remember when, uh, when I, was, uh, I was teaching the group of doctors, there were there were families like five families and they have to be in a good in the i mean like in a one room and then when i i stepped my feet there and i was scared and i was still like trembling like oh my goodness what i'm gonna do and then is the things that i'm going to say to be they will understand me or uh, not and um but i in that time before that i have to train myself to ruin the night, like to repeat the things that I'm going to teach them. And when I was there and I did it well and they satisfied. So it's about practicing guys. And from that time, I can just line to my, uh, 
my uh, what is it uh, asking people to to attend my course or I go there to the to the, the company and the other day I was teaching the group of uh, military from um, from uh, what is it uh, there is a place that in, in Madagascar is a the group of them and they know English but they, they just want to talk and then practice and I was like can I do it and every time I go, I have to train myself and I have to, you know, like, even if like I have to, to wake up early in the morning and train myself and then and, and present them and then I have to look at the mirror and then stand. Okay, like, uh, hello everyone, I'm here to, to introduce myself and I have to do the 30 seconds, me in 30 seconds again, and then I have to, I have to do it before I go and teach in the company. But no, it's easy for me. Even if I'm good, uh, I'm going to the big platform. No problem for me because I trained myself. I am confident what I'm doing. And then I need to, you know, the more you do it, guys, the more you get it. Don't be worried. Just do it. Do it. And then remember this. It's not your language or it's not the thing that you used to do. But the more you do it, the more you get success. So practice makes better you will not be perfect but it will be better so yeah okay. now i'm training you in yangu and you are going to lead the 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 the, 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 the what is it the class every thursday from no one and then you are going to see how it is and you have to choose different topic all the time so keep up the good work yes <laughs> yeah thank you i'll try my best and i hope you will always be there you no I, I will be uh, here i will not everyone. i will not leave you yeah. i will just meet you maybe there is yes. <laughs> some <need. laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you so much teacher jenny it was very You're very welcome. good we have learned many things and uh, now i want to ask Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, Hello. Uh, yes, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Yes. Okay, that's great. Um, nice topic, by the way. Uh, how to be confident. I'm going to share uh, some of my thoughts. And I uh, hope it can help everyone and even uh, remind me uh, how I gain my confidence. First of all, we need to know who, you, who we are, our strength, our weaknesses. So to be confident, if we are going to, to deal with our weaknesses, when we do something, we will lose our confidences. But when we focus on our strength, like I, I am able to do this. I am strong enough on that uh, one and this and these things and something. So if we, if we focus and list those uh, abilities and strength, that will help you to be confident. Again, uh, we we should also put some limitation because sometimes we are. Um, how can I say that? We think that we can do more, and uh, from that, we don't know our limitations. We need to do something better, not just trying, trying new things. It's, it's, uh, it's good to try new things, but uh, we need to know where is our limitation. Like, I cannot run more than 2,000 two kilometers, so I will not go for 3,000 or something. Or some, something else so we need to know our limitation if we have uh, some degrees then we know like I, I am able to do this because i have this knowledge and skills and last thing that i'm going to share is to to be kind with us and compliment us sometimes we are too hard to ourselves and when as we are hard as we put a lot of pressure to ourselves, it leads to a lack of confidence and we are not able to try anything because uh, 
of that pressure that we put on ourselves. So let's accept um, compliments, let's be kind to ourselves, and that will help you to boost our confidence. Thank you, Lexu. It was very impressive. And uh, I do agree with you. Yes, thank you so much, Exu. We have learned so many things today. So, who hasn't talked yet? Oh, Anzara. Yes, okay, so, because we are, we have less than eight minutes left, so I will just sum up some of uh, some tips some tips that I've, that I've searched in YouTube. It's about how to boost your self-confidence. It's, it's, it's for the long term. So the first is to celebrate yourself. As uh, Helso said, you, you don't need to be hard with yourself. So when you, when you, when you, when you accomplish something, be happy for you because uh, you have made some effort you have made so much effort to do it so be happy for you and don't focus don't focus on the things that you did wrong and don't compare yourself to others the second the second tip is learn something new because in learning something new you will get a sense of accomplishment and when you overcome an unfamiliar challenge you gain a very different kind of pride which will stick you for years to come. So it will develop, uh, it will help you develop faith in yourself. And uh, I, I also, um, I, I also, <clears throat> I also found that exercising daily will help to increase your self-confidence because uh, exercising affects affect everything from your physical health to your sense of well-being when you look good you will feel good and after a good workout workout you feel mentally and physically capable like you can conquer anything i have uh, i have another tip but uh, i will i will just i will i think uh, the free is uh, is also good so i will let niangu i will let niangu so much yeah okay and uh, what time is Thank you there so is much, five Anna. minutes left <laughs> we talk yes the, 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 we just have 40 minutes guys we don't have the unlimited uh, one but next time we will do get it so five minutes and then i can um, summarize and um yeah okay so maybe i will summarize now because we have five minutes left and uh, thank you so much everyone for your opinion for 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 telling us about those wonderful things i i hope it will help us to to be more confident in our daily lives but all the things that you have said are right. And uh, maybe I will just add some things. Maybe you've already said it, but uh, for me, there are so many ways to boost our confidence, but maybe I will just share five ways that are, according to me, very important if you want to be confident. So first of all, if you can, maybe every morning list your strengths because everyone has his own strength and quality and writing them down in a journal or just in a paper will really help us to be more confident. And um, besides, you have to learn to like, respect and love yourself because you have strengths, you have values, you have many qualities and you are loved, so list those strengths. Uh, second, talk to yourself in a positive way. Leo has already said it, and maybe it might seem crazy, but it really works. For example, instead of saying, I can't do it, 
try to say I know what to do and believe it and see the results. And I I will I will tell you it will really really works. Uh, third thing, practice gratitude. You know, there are so many things in life that we can be grateful for. And as you go about your day, try to keep an eye for pleasant things in your life. And if, even if it's small, even if it's big, it really helps you if you want to have more self-confidence. So try to be grateful for everything that you have, for everything, for all the people that surround you. Uh, the, the, the next thing that I want to share uh, it's a practice, it's, uh, you know, confidence is more than just a state of mind, it's a habit. So you have to practice it. And I want you to try to talk to strangers, not to strangers that may look suspicious, but to strangers, for example, to new people in your school or in your work. So... You, in order to be confident, you've got to do confident things. And if you make conversation with strangers, maybe it will seem intimidating, but with time, you'll be more and more confident because you know that you can have new friends and you can impress people, I'm telling you. And the last thing that I want to share uh, is to accept compliments. It was already stayed to but uh, you know sometimes when someone compliments us we just roll our, our eyes and say oh no it's not true but I, i'm telling you you just have to smile and say thank you because if people see it in you maybe it's because it's true so when someone compliments you just don't just accept it you know, it doesn't compromise your humility. It shows that you're polite and you have a, sec a secure sense of self-worth. So the next time someone will maybe tell Anza, you're beautiful, or maybe Leo, you're smart, just accept it and say, thank you, thank you. It will really help you to, to be more confident and you will see it really, really works. So it's just maybe for you, it's detail, but it has a significant impact in your life. So I hope those many, many tips we have shared today will help us to be more confident. And uh, the next time you will, you will think that you're not enough or you're not that strong or you're not that smart, remember, you can do it. And remember, you can practice it and just, just go for it. And as teacher Jenny likes to say it, keep up the good work and it's all about practice. So thank you so much for being there today. It was my first time leading class and <laughs> to tell you the oh, truth, great. I was a little bit shy in the beginning oh, but did it. <laughs> thank you we did it Yangu. thank you so much <laughs> we love it i can see that uh, you have trained the to have a confidence in yourself good thank job you. <laughs> thank you so much guys so see you and see teach you, you just like make the time like sharp now it's a uh, 40 minutes sharp so thank you guys. So 